Don't worry about it, John. Believe me. All right, I'll be seeing you. Give my best to Sheila. All right, yes. 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 Bye-bye. beach, like a long beach, an amusement park. When? In two hours. Ruth? Yes? Uh, 4.30 Monday, John Graham's office. Don't let me forget, please. Have okay. a nice evening, all mm -hmm. of you. Oh, Mr. Brenner. The speech from Mr. DeFonte. DeFonte? Is that tomorrow? Ten o'clock in his office. I must have mislaid a day somewhere. Can you come in at nine o'clock in the morning? Yes. I'll return after dinner this evening and put it on tape, and then you can have it and do it. Once more, I'll be seeing you. Bye. You have more privacy in a freeway. Oh, I don't know. Wasn't it you that said you should never have a clandestine meeting in a clandestine place? Besides which, I've always had a certain perverse affection for amusement parks. By the way, how is A.J. Henderson? A.J. Henderson commutes every day from Westport, except when he has to go to a regional office for a visit. Very ordered life. Makes him worth much more that way. You thought I was dead, didn't you? Oh, yes, until I heard of the feats of Geronimo, and I knew it had to be you. Why didn't you contact me? I have. Three years, amigo. Oh, one can't be too careful. Now, let me tell you about this little operation that I'm involved in here. You'll tell me about the operation in a minute. First things first, Nelson. Now, as I remember, we had a certain currency scheme going on down there in Banana Land. 300,000 preseros, as I recall. Well, supposing I told you that I was broke. Devil agents don't go broke. They die sometimes, but they don't go broke. Oh, come along now. That theory about my being a double agent, so you know there's no fact in it? Don't Agency you? doesn't deal in facts. Only rumors, and I have a lot more than rumors, Nelson. Deal. Well, come on, relax. The funds have been safely invested in AAA bonds. You'll get your money back, plus interest. When? Uh, of course, I could write you a personal check, and then we'd both be tossed into the Potomac. I said when. I want cash. And I'll worry about the laundering. I was afraid about that. You'll get Sir. the cash, yes? Sir, I've just taken your photograph. Have you? Yes, and if you would like a print of it, please stop by the booth on your way out. I'll have them ready for you. Oh, really? Yes. I can stop by any time? Any time. Well, in that case, I'll be seeing you. Thank you so much. How's your eye these days? Deadly, Nelson, deadly. Uh, see if we can remember. Only 35 cents. Two. Thank you, gentlemen. Step right up, ladies and gentlemen. Knock down the ten little ducks, win a big giant panda. Ladies and gentlemen, knock down the ten little ducks, win a big giant panda. Step right up, ladies and gentlemen. Step right up. Five out of ten wins a prize. Ten out of ten wins a giant panda. Good. <laughs> well, congratulations, gentlemen. <laughs> we have. Two winners! I usually lose two of these in six months. Two in the same day is enough to break me. You keep mine, buddy. I'm all hard. Thank, Thank you, you, pal. Five out of ten wins you a prize. Ten out of ten. I'll bet you were disappointed when I showed up alive. Oh, I'm not that greedy. But the Tupamaro had you cold. Uh, how do you do it? How'd you get away? On day one, I had two of their people on ice. It was a matter of a simple exchange. And the director wanted to make it look like I was dead. Ah, yes, the director. Tricky fellow, I direct. What's this caper all about? Uh, this is a naval code on microfilm in the possession of a crafty old buzzard by the name of Steinmetz. He'll require a series of meetings to make sure that he's not been set up. Is he? All we're interested in the moment is the microfilm. When and where? Tonight, 11 o'clock, Sinbad, Santa Monica Pier. Do you remember the routine that we used in La Paz in 1967? Clickety-click. The same one. Clickety-click. <laughs> Why all the jazz? Oh, this is the way that Mr. Steinmetz would like it. This Steinmetz? Yes. Is he an operator? Well, shall we say that he's an old and crafty peddler, and that's all. Excuse me a minute, please.
Hello. Hi. Do you like the name Fred? Yeah. You do? Perhaps you prefer the name Archibald. I don't know any Archibalds. You don't know any Archibalds? Well, this is Archibald. And now you know him. And now he's yours. Would you like him? Yeah. You would? Uh-huh. All right, he's yours. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Thank nice you. talking to you. Okay. This way. Bye. Bye. You've been eating this. What's the price? Whatever it takes. What currency? Dollars or lira. And they want the drop site where they decide. I suggest, by the way, that you don't wear your gun. That undercover, I don't go. Uh, the contact may want to frisk you. Well, let them. They know I'm an operator, or don't they? Well, they do, but they don't know your name or anything else about you. When do you use one of your men out here? There's too much money involved. Besides, our director doesn't want Mr. Steinmetz chasing back to me. But you are setting him up. Perhaps, but not at this time. I'll take care of the photo stand for you, and uh, I'll be in touch. Have a nice evening. Just one more thing.